Could it be? Could these five rolls be the tr only truly unsearched wheat rolls left in existence? Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and I'm bringing another episode of buying from a seller to see if they truly have wheat penny rolls that are unsearched with a dime at the end. So I bought these from a seller who claims that these are truly unsearched and are picked up from a hoard, a sale that they got. And I'll put some pictures of what they claim are inside right now. So as you see by the picture, it caught my interest and I thought, no way, no way. There's no way that there's that many or that much silver in there. I bet you it's all pennies, all in the 50s, maybe an occasional 20 in there and a couple of silver dimes on the end. Here's what I've noticed so far. We've got a couple of uh, silver enders here and the other end both happen to have a 1952 plane date. That's a little weird, right? Then we have two that show the back of a silver dime, and the enders on these are both 1944 plane dates. That's kind of weird. And then we have another one with the head of a silver dime showing and the back of a wheat scent. It's almost like they categorized what they had in the rolls by what's on the ends. I'm not saying they did, I'm just saying that's kind of different. So let me get my camera set up. We're gonna crack into all these rolls and see if these are truly unsearched Wheat penny rolls with silver inside. All right, guys, we'll start with this first one here. And this is one of the ones with a 1952 ender and a Roosevelt silver dime on the other end. And it looks like it, eh, you can't really tell. It might be a 1961. All right, let's open it carefully. Now, you know what? Let's not open it carefully. Let's get into this dang roll. Feels tightly crimped. All right. I guess we'll take the uh, screwdriver and we'll just open the side of it. See what we see. Well, what do you know? All pennies except for one silver dime. That's odd. Doesn't look anything like the pitcher. We did get a 1961. Denver. We'll take it. I'll take one of those. Now what I'll do for sake of time, I'll just run through a couple of these. See what we got here. Got a 44, a 41, a 56. A 41, a 44, a 42, 57, 56, 56, 57, 56, 44, 56, 57, 41, 46, 56, 56, 57, 44, and 46. Well, that first roll doesn't seem truly unsearched unless they only kept a bunch of mid uh, year 40s and a whole bunch of 50s in there. I guess we'll get on to the next roll. All right, roll number two. This is the exact same kind of roll as the other one, a silver head showing and a 52 weedy on the other end. So I'm thinking if they were set up the same way, this should be a very similar roll. Let's see what we get. There's the silver dime. You know what? It's a 1959. Denver, we'll take it. It's not a bad year. Let's see what else we got. Oh, what do you know? All wheat pennies. That's odd. Let's see how many 50s and 40s are in this one. 
57, 57, 46, 56, 42, 53, 53. I'm not saying the mint marks, guys. We just want to run through these, and I'll, I'll look at them later. 46, 56, 57, 51, 45, 57. I don't know, guys. A few more 56s. Doesn't look like it's unsearched to me. A couple of 40s there, as, as in 41 and 46. Another 41 and 46. Another 46 and 41. That's odd. 44, 58. A couple of more 56s. Couple of more 56s and a 52. So once again, looking like mostly uh, 50s and 40s wheat cents and a silver diamender. Now these are different. These have the 44 ender in the back of a silver dime. Maybe that's another level up from what we got here. Let me set the camera up and for sake of time, we'll just open it. And if I if I all I see is pennies, I'll let you know what I find after that. All right. Let's open it with the dime side. Maybe we got uh, more than one silver dime in this roll. Or maybe it's just, in fact, a whole bunch of wheat pennies with a silver dime ender. Well, would you look at that? Nothing but wheat cents except for the silver dime ender. What year is this dime? Oh, you know what? At least they threw in a 1946. Philadelphia, though. But we'll take it. Let me run through these and I'll let you know if there's anything other than 40s and 50s again. It was all 40s and 50s again, guys, but at least we got a 1940 in the bunch and a coin we hadn't got either was a 47. So slightly better. Let's see if this one does anything different. We'll open it silver dime side first since uh, that's probably the only silver dime in the whole roll. Yep. Definitely not looking like the uh, pictures, that's for sure. What's the dime? A 1953. Denver. We'll take it. I like the silver. Let me go through these and see if there's anything else other than 40s and 50s again. All right, guys. Of note in that roll, <clears throat> we got a 1955 that I'll take a closer look at, but 55 plain. We also got, believe it or not, a very worn 1912. You know what? At least I got a 1912 in there. All right. Last roll. Maybe this is the best of the bunch. It's a 1961 silver diamender, though. And uh, we know the last time we had a 61 silver diamender. Not much else happened. Well, let's see. All wheat pennies again. Yep. Loaded with silver. 61, Denver. All right, let's run through these. Well, we finished running that last roll. We did get a 1940S, so that's not bad. We ended up with two more 1955s I'll take a closer look at. Looks like they're not the double die verse at all. So really, for the uh, price we paid on the five rolls, we didn't even get back remotely what it's worth. Now, obviously, the wheat pennies are worth more than a penny, so if you were to go to straight value and I could sell a bunch of 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51 pennies uh, for what their book value is. And yeah, the book value, it adds up to what I paid for the roll, but really not much there. The picture insinuated there's more than a dime in each roll. There wasn't. And for unsearched, why are they all 40s and 50s? Interesting. I bought five rolls to specifically give a fair shake, uh, shake to the seller to make sure my outcome, guys, you can let me know what you think, but I don't think there's ever going to be such thing, such a thing as unsearched wheat penny rolls ever again, and let alone truly unsearched. We knew with the dimes on the end, they couldn't be totally unsearched, but we thought we'd get at least another extra silver dime or two, maybe even an Indian head. No such luck. I would not buy from this seller again. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and as always... Thanks for watching.